G'day gastromites and welcome to History of a Dish. Did you know there's a saying in France that goes something like this? On fait tout un fromage. And for those of you who didn't catch that, we'll take it one more time. On fait tout un fromage. Now, the translation of that would be to make a whole cheese about it. What that basically means is to make a mountain out of a molehill. And that's the point. Cheese is so important to the French that even made a whole saying about it. In fact, they took that piece of cheese, Gruyere in this case, whacked it on top of a simple onion soup and made it into a masterpiece. And now it's become a national treasure. Yes, today we're taking a look at the origins of one of my favorite dishes of all time, the French onion soup. Let's go. So, to get a full understanding of the origins of this dish, we'll have to whiz back around 8,000 years ago. That would be the Roman times. A time when there wasn't a whole lot of produce to choose from, to be honest, but the trusty good old onion was there, and it was cheap to grow. So it was seen as a staple food for the poor people. Throw on a bit of musty broth, dip some stale bread in it, and voila, a meal fit even for a king. Which, by the way, may not be so far from the truth, as there are two theories, or myths if you like, as to how the traditional French onion recipe may have had their beginnings. And both have King Louis XV in the starring role. After returning home from a hunt, King Louis XV found his pantry totally empty, except for some butter, onions and champagne. Hungry like a wolf, Louis threw the whole lot into a pot, stirred it for a while and ended up with a truly magnificent treat. This time it was King Louis' father-in-law, Stanislas Leczynski, who tasted the soup at an inn in the Champagne region. He was so infatuated by the dish that he demanded to see how it was made. So through tear-filled eyes due to the smell of the onions, he managed to copy the recipe before bringing it to King Louis' court. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here, so let's backtrack a tad to the great Les Halls of Paris, which was founded by another king, Philippe Auguste, in 1135. Now, Lay House, known as the Belly of Paris, started off as a simple little open-air food market, but due to its popularity, it soon grew in size. In the end, it was like an immense pantry that covered 25 acres of ground. People from all walks of life were drawn to it. Professionals and poor alike had a place at Lay Halls. Patrons at the market could warm their bodies up by visiting the numerous soup cellars around the place. Often these soups were pretty watery but had a rich colour according to French author Alexandre Privot d'Anglemont. This colour came from the addition of carrots, caramel and even burned onions, a staple ingredient for the soups of France's poor. Now, onion soup has been in the French culinary repertoire since day dot. It's always been there. And as a point of interest, one of the first ever recorded recipes written down was in the year 1300, in the classic Le Viandier, written by Guillaume Tyrell. And it goes something like this. To make onion soup, peel onions and chop finely into round slices. Brown in butter for a long while. Add a little water to keep it from burning. Mix with puree of peas or water and add some verjuice and parsley. And Bob's your uncle, you've got yourself a mouth-watering little onion soup smack bang from the Middle Ages. Bon appétit. So, just how then did the simple poor man's onion soup evolve and become the dish that we so love today? Well, we need to return to the great Lay Halls marketplace and the restaurants surrounding the area because it was these restaurateurs that decided to add the final touches to the recipe to give it its final tweak. A tweak that lives on to this final day. A bit of stale bread, a heavy dose of grated cheese and gratinating the lot under a grill. Voila! This version of the French onion soup quickly became a firm favourite from all people of all walks of life. It served as a breakfast dish for the workers at Lay House, 
It became the snack of choice for the elite after an evening out, and it was a go-to hangover meal for the local drunkards. And as we round up this little journey, I have to give a special mention to a special place in my heart, Au Pied de Cochon in Paris. The only survivor of the great restaurants surrounding Les Halls. Established in 1947, it has kept its doors open continuously for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you wanna know the one dish that has never left their menu in all of that time? That's right the French onion soup. Enough said. Thank you for taking the time to watch this edition of History of a Dish. If you enjoyed what you've seen, then click the subscribe button and we'll be back for more soon. Take care.